it is it is so sad and you know you know i was featured up in harlem and there was a man that told me he was about to kill himself he about to commit suicide he said well you heard me preach he changed his mind and didn't know this man he said he would come out the number two line and say he thought about killing himself he said but we heard the gospel he changed his mind the man got on his knees and began to repent hallelujah we can clap our hand for that thank you jesus because we never know who want to commit suicide i mean you never know for walking around and smiling and laughing and they could have thoughts about jumping off the roof how many times we've seen that we saw a person during the week and you thought they was happy and they were smiling and next week we heard they jump off the roof You're like wow we just saw the person last week because that's how the enemy talks to people's mind because some of you have been abused abuse and there's all kind of abuse but my 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 sermon today is god is going to make the attacks get back that's the sermon today god will make the attacks get back because there come a time that yes you suffer there come a time when god said that's enough i'm seeing jesus right now while you're here i'm literally seeing jesus right now in the spirit i see a white robe i see christ in the midst right here all of my high emotion Hallelujah. Whoa, thank you, Jesus. So we say, have your way, Lord. We're here to glorify your name. And like Diane said, yes, the churches may be closed, but the Holy Ghost didn't shut down. Hallelujah. Because we are the church. When God is in your heart, you are the church. You can praise the Lord on the subway. Huh? You can praise the Lord walking down the street. Huh? You can praise the Lord on the bus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. A man came up and he gave me a hug because he felt the love of Jesus. We're living in a lost world where people don't know what to do. So they go on drugs and crack. But we're here to let you know, you don't need no crack. Run to where Christ is at. The attacks is going to get back. You don't need no crack. Woo! That rhymes. I like that. Hallelujah. You don't need to smoke no weed. God is all you need. Your mind has been oppressed by the enemy. He's been trying to discourage you. And there's times we always, there's times we got discouraged. Because the warfare gets so great. And it's time to feel like giving up. But here comes Jesus and said, don't give up. I'm going to hold you by your hands. Woo! I'm going to embrace you with my love. I'm not forgot about you. God said, I'm coming again. But only for a holy people. And that's why the devil fights you so much. Because you love the Lord. If you didn't love God, the enemy wouldn't fight you that, that hard. If you were selling drugs in the street, <laughs> you're doing the wrong thing, the devil wouldn't be fighting you that much. So if the enemy be coming against you to that degree, that means you're on the right track. Tell somebody, I'm on the right track. But it comes a time when the Lord said, many are the afflictions huh, of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver you out of them all. This is your season now for harvest. I usually don't preach harvest, but the Lord said, now tell my people this is your season for harvest. Hallelujah. This is your time because it seems like that the wicked is getting more blessed than the righteous. For the like they're not even trying to do right. Like they get more blessed than you. They got the cars and the houses, and you're like, Lord, when is my time? But they just got the material thing. That's just material. But that stuff gonna pass away. But God said heaven and earth will pass away. Huh? But my word is gonna live forever. You may be poor here on earth, but you got treasures in heaven. Whoosh! You say, in my father's house, ha, there are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. That's right. That's right. Praise God. God got a mansion for you in the sky. God got a palace for you. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. God got a palace for you. For his people. The holy city. Praise God. The streets of gold. Whoa, hallelujah. Because we're not in this world to stay. People are getting so comfortable in this world. They're getting too comfortable. And they forgot about God. I was just on 34th Street. And there was a man that climbed all the way to the top of the building. It came all over the news. It happened actually Thursday. And I'm standing watching this man climb on the top of a building because someone told the man, I bet you you can't climb that building. He was dumb enough to try to prove to the man that he can climb the building. And the man almost got stuck and almost fell off the building. All the police force was there. It was packed. It was crowded. The news force was there. 
And, he came, and the man began to smoke weed while he was up there. The devil told him to start sniffing. The man almost fell off the building. You know what I did? I took my Bible out. I held my Bible to the sky. I said, audience, police force, let's pray. Pray for this man. Because the devil got his mind. The devil wanted him to commit suicide so he can die and go to hell. Honey, I began to pray up in New York City. Right on 34th Street. So the cops can see the power of God. So New York City can see the power of God. Honey, I begin to pray. God didn't let that man climb another notch. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, New York began to pray with me. They started calling on Jesus around 34th Street. God delivered that man on the building. The police force broke the, uh, the, uh, the glass and got the man in the building on that floor. And God said, it's all over the news. Go on the internet, you see on the news. I began to preach the gospel. Cops started saying thank you for the gospel. White cops started coming to Jesus. Folk on the street started coming to Jesus. Even folk from Refuge Temple showed up. They didn't know I was even there. That's what God would do. Yes, ah! Hallelujah. What the world needs is Jesus. Yes. He's the answer for the world today. Hallelujah. But when you begin to reject God, that's when the devil begins to come in. We begin to live a wicked lifestyle. That's when God doesn't answer prayer. But so we say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Wash my sins away. Purge me, God. That's when the Lord will begin to deliver. When America do all this witchcraft and devil worship and black magic and all this racism and don't want to repent, no wonder God doesn't answer everybody's prayer. But God said, I will answer your prayer. Because everybody's not wicked. Everybody ain't doing wrong. So God not going to let the righteous suffer with the wicked. Can you say amen to somebody? God will separate the righteous from the wicked and say, tax, get back. Whoa. Tell somebody, tax, get back. God going to send the living in your life.